Well done, Brad. And to make the presentation to our eighth and final inductee, please welcome a man who achieved legend status in the Australian Football Hall of Fame, footy's original 400 gamer and Richmond immortal, Kevin Bartlett, AM. To our final inductee, well, let's just say there is only one. Tony Lockett is a larger-than-life character in the history of Australian rules football. He was a reluctant superstar. He cherished his privacy. But the man known as Plugger became the greatest ever goal kicker in the VFL-AFL. In a career that spanned 18 seasons across the St Kilda and Sydney Swans clubs, he booted 1,360 goals. He became the first full forward to win the game's highest individual honour, the Brownlow Medal, which he shared in 1987 with a man barely half his size, Hawthorne's John Platten. In 1987, he kicked 117 goals, even though his team finished 10th on the ladder. The Man Mountain was renowned for his fierce attack on the ball, and he had surprising speed to break away from his opponents. In 1991, Lockett scored 127 goals in just 17 games, averaging over 7 per match, and helped St Kilda to make the finals for the first time in 18 years. In 1995, Lockett moved north to join the Sydney Swans, and appreciated being away from the attention he received in Football Mad Melbourne. The following year, the Swans went all the way to the grand final. Play, Tony! Left foot goal! Courtesy of Lockett's After the Siren Point, that won the preliminary final against Essendon. Plugger's 13th hundred goal came in 1999, surpassing the long-standing league record held by Magpies legend Gordon Coventry. He retired with four Coleman medals for the league's highest goal scorer, selected All-Australian five times, and was later elevated to legend status in the Australian Football Hall of Fame. As an athlete member for the sport of Australian rules football, Tony Lockett is inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tony Lockett. AFL Hall of Fame, AFL legend, and now Sport Australia Hall of Fame. But he's been pretty good to you, hasn't it? Unbelievable, Sandy. Um, yeah, you better kick me. I think I can't. Uh, I can't believe it. Actually, it's um, been a great ride, um, and I feel very honoured, very privileged, very proud uh, to um, to be here tonight and uh, amongst all these great athletes. Very humbling. Thank you very much. You've got all your well, many of your family here. Good your morning, mum and yep. dad. Yep. Uh, your father, Howard, was a very good footballer in the country. So f was it always going to be football for you? Oh, I think so. Um, yeah. But, um, you know, we, we, we played uh, um, lots of different sports growing up, but football was always number one for me. Um, started very young and just went right through. Uh, played with North Ballarat, who uh, Dad was coaching yeah. the senior side there. Um, so it was, it was always thereabouts. Football was always, you know, there. And um, I've had a hell of a time. I really have had a great, uh, a great run and uh, met some great people. And as I said, we feel very honoured uh, to be up here tonight. Early days, were you intimidated going to St Kilda? Uh, I was pretty young. I mean, I think yeah. I was just turned 16. And um, um, so I was a, I was a young Pretty bloke. young. <laughs> but, you know, you've got to start somewhere. Yeah. Um, probably in the deep end a little bit maybe, but... Uh, I think it stood me in good stead for the rest of the time. Um, and look, it's you know, a team sport and I've played with a lot of great teammates and I truly thank them because uh, without you know, them, I wouldn't have uh, achieved what, what I did. Uh, as a goal kicker, obviously up one end of the ground, I was really only capping off a lot of hard work from a lot of blokes up the field. So um, to all my teammates, a sincere thank you very, very much. Well, they helped you on the way to, yeah. 
they help you on your way to a six-time century goal kicker uh, for the two clubs. Is the era of the century goal kicker now a thing of the past? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't know. The games, well, it, it certainly changed a bit the way they play. Um, you've got to be very, very fit today, Sandy. It wouldn't have suited my style of game <laughs> too good at all. Um, but, you know, you've got to play to your strengths. And uh, I had a theory that if I got any further than 50 metres out from the goal, I was pretty much useless. So <laughs> I stayed pretty close in Andy. Actually, you were... One kick we saw in those highlights, you were, I think, 50 metres out, uh, but any score would have done on the day yeah, well, to yeah. get you through that yeah. preliminary final. Yeah, a absolutely. memorable point. Certainly, oh, probably the most memorable, other than the 1300, probably the most memorable kick, <coughs> sorry, that, uh, that I had. Um, as I said, it's a team sport to get the Swannies into the, into the 96 grand final with that kick. And I remember it well, because it was the only kick I had all night anyway. <laughs> um, but it was... Um, a great thrill. The grand final was something that'll um, uh, stay with me forever. It was just a great thrill to run out there in front of so many people. And, uh, you know, that is the pinnacle of our sport, to, to, to represent your club on, on grand final day. You've been doing a bit of work with the Sydney Swans. Just looking towards next year, are you going to do more? Well, I hope so, yeah. I've thoroughly enjoyed it this year. It's been really good. I've been going up sort of once every couple of weeks and uh, just doing a little bit of work, mainly with the young blokes. Um, uh, but I've really enjoyed it. It's been good to be back. Um, I've been out of it for a while. But four beautiful young daughters. I'm, I'm very lucky. I've got, in my opinion, the best kids in the world, me. And I'm four so daughters. Them. Four daughters. And uh, heaven help the suitors so, when they meet you. But they are. They've been great kids, and I've thoroughly enjoyed being an old man. It's been great. And uh, your wife Vicky's obviously been fantastic. She's been very good too. She's been very tolerant and patient, if for one of a couple of better words, I suppose. <laughs> uh, the third one, Steph couldn't couldn't be tonight. She's away on a, a uh, school excursion. She actually flies into Sydney, I think, ten o'clock tonight. So unfortunately, Steph missed out. Uh, but the other three are here and girls, I love you all. You're uh, the, ap the apple of their old man's eye. Sensational way to finish. One of the greatest of all time, ladies and gentlemen. 1,360 goals, a Brownlow medalist, Tony Lockett, is inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame.